Now I was wondering here, why is it that they didn't just mold this whole thing all together, but I can see now that obviously if they, uh, if they did, they couldn't have detail like this or where there was an overhang, you know, coming out like this and uh, and have the mold pull apart easily so yeah I guess that's why there's the two pieces. Another thing I was noticing is that uh, in this larger piece here there was absolutely no sprue to trim off anywhere. Obviously there was sprue you can see it's been removed here in the factory I, I didn't remove that so there was probably a lot of sprue in other places and they probably have people that nip it off for you, some of these larger pieces. Come to think of it, there was no sprue on the hull either. Yeah, in fact there was a lot of large pieces now that I think about it, didn't have any sprue stuck on it. However, we do have to, uh, you know, paint this. I guess we'll be using the, the light gray on the sides and uh, probably dark gray on railings like this. Some sort of deck tan on this because this is uh, you can see it's clearly uh, uh, supposed to be the teak planking. Um, now this piece here, you notice this little protrusion sticking up. I wonder what's supposed to go on there. Um, it doesn't show anything here in step 45 as near as I can see. But they must be for something. Now I was going to vacuum up all these little pieces here and I thought, you know what, if I'm smart I better just check and make sure that I don't accidentally have something we need mixed in here because some of these pieces that we do need, you know, they're actually smaller than the uh, pieces of sprue I cut off. Now, another thing, I found out what these little bumps are for. I'll show you in a minute. Now I was thinking here, we should really be checking Stefan's book here and see what is it that we're actually making. And uh, here we have a diagram. And uh, it's interesting, and I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but it's uh, 1 200th scale, which is the same scale as this trumpeter kit. So in other words, I can take this, this piece and lay it over top of the drawing well, it doesn't quite fit because of the uh, page break, but if you were to take these two pages and bring them together, uh, it, it would be the right length, but it's the right width. Yeah, I'm just sort of thinking out loud again. So, uh, in other words, some of this we're not going to have to worry about painting. Uh, for instance, right here, I believe this piece right here, if I can get it, without making a big mess. Okay, it goes... Uh, goes on there then there's gonna be another piece go on there anyway uh, what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of stuff that we don't need to worry about painting now obviously the sides we do and the deck here we do and this decking we do but right here we don't probably right here we don't um, maybe right here we don't kind of from the feel of it it almost feels like there's something gonna be mounted on top of there uh, yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a, this piece here, this piece here goes on here. So yeah, a lot of stuff we don't need to worry about painting. So I think I'm just going to maybe try and just do the sides today with the light gray. And then uh, see if I can't somehow mask it off so that we can uh, spray the uh, deck tan on the deck planking. Oh, and I was going to show you what these are. I'm going to put the other lens on. I can uh, show you a lot better. Now it must be four or five months ago that we made a lot of these little parts. Well, I will get it when the time comes. It must have been just a fluke that this one went on the first time. But, uh, there we go. Anyway, that's what those little bumps are for.
Okay, both of these pictures are similar. This one is 1940. Okay, this is the way it looked in 1941. Anyway, I thought it'd be a good idea to just see what it is we are making here. And uh, this section here, the big section, is this part right here. It goes from here to right there. Uh, this this is obviously not on the same scale. Um, yeah, so you you can realize when, when you when you start seeing pieces like this, you suddenly realize, my goodness, that ship was gigantic. You know, it's uh, it's sort of mind-boggling. You know, if you've never actually been on a ship like this, and well, I've been on the uh, Queen Mary in uh, down in California. I was on the Queen Elizabeth when it was on on display in Fort Lauderdale. But those are the only two real large ships I've been on. Never been on a real battleship. Now I guess that's not exactly 100% true because I just remembered. Yeah, well first of all I'll tell you a little joke. Uh, and the joke goes like this. I don't know, it's maybe another one of these jokes that may not be politically correct, but here we go. Anyway, they say that the Canadian Armed Forces is made up of two fleet Canucks and three canoes. Well, this is a Canadian ship. Uh, it's not exactly a canoe, but then it's not exactly the Bismarck either. I did get to tour this. It's uh, on display in Hamilton, Ontario, and it was very interesting. Anyway, I think I mentioned that before. I'm starting to repeat myself. Let's uh, see if we can find some better pictures here. Okay, here we go. Late May of 41. This is probably what it was like when it was uh, went into battle. Um, those four lifeboats that I said we're going to be putting on. Okay. Um, but anyway, this is a, a real good shot, or a drawing rather, of the, you know, what we're working on. And uh, yeah, you can you can see here that. We gotta paint the deck tan. Here we have to paint it. But okay, this this is uh, Stefan's got this. Uh, they've got a trumpeter has planking here, but this looks like something else. I think I'm probably gonna go with uh, planking because uh, it'll match. But whatever goes on here, the piece that goes on here, it, it'll, it can be the dark, very dark gray. Um, yeah, what else can we see here? Well, you can see those little guns that we were looking at earlier. There's one there, one there. And then it goes, uh, you know, here. I, I realize I've got this slightly overexposed, but the reason for that is so that you can see the detail in the dark areas. I say that every time too. Oh, speaking of Stefan, there's a picture in this book of Stefan. I'll show you. Okay, apparently this picture was taken uh, uh, very close to where the uh, Bismarck was anchored. I guess the Bismarck was anchored out there. Yeah, you can see in his book that he's holding the, the uh, skyline matches. Interesting. Yeah, anyway, that's Stefan. And I can't say enough. Get this book. You know, it's uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, it's one of the few things that I like this that I have bought that I have absolutely no buyer's remorse. Now, I just want to throw in here that I am not a book person. So if I buy and like a book, well, it's got to be good. Maybe because it's just loaded with pictures, I don't know. <laughs> now, speaking of buyer's remorse, or maybe you say buyer's regret. Anyway, I kind of regret having mixed up my own different shades of gray and then later finding out that I wasn't able to get another jar of the same, you know, concentration again. And, um... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is, as far as I can remember, this little piece here was done in the dark, 
you know what I what I called the dark gray and uh, so I've, I've got this here it's called the neutral gray uh, XF 53 so I'm gonna switch and start using that consistently now and for the sides of the ship I think I'm going to use what's called the sky gray and uh, here's one it's called light gray but it's not uh, you know it's it's I think this is probably better I've already tried this on something else I can't remember what but I, obviously I did because I've covered the top of the uh, lid with the, with the paint. Uh, anyway, um, it's uh, going on for three here and uh, I just really don't have time to get into the painting yet. I got a, you know, oh and um, I should show you something here if I can get it out. Okay, now this little door, this is one of the hangar doors and it actually goes on the back here like this. I'm wondering, would it show up better maybe if I did it in the dark gray? Or should I, uh, you know, should I use the light gray on that? Something this big, maybe it wouldn't look good if it was, if it was dark. And yet on the other hand, compared to the whole ship, this is tiny. I'm gonna break this yet. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.